the morning on GMA. And we thank you. Daria Albinger, ABC News. The views and opinions expressed by the host and callers of this program are not necessarily the views of Genesis Communications, its management, or its sponsors. Genesis Communications presents the show that's helping people see better and feel better all over Florida. It's Ask the Doctor with board-certified optometric physician, certified nutritional specialist, and popular radio host, Dr. Michael Lang of Lang Eye Care and Associates. Okay, good morning, and welcome to Ask the Doctor. I'm your host, Dr. Michael Lang of the Lang Eye Institute and Fortify Vitamins, here each and every Saturday morning live to answer any and all questions you may have regarding your vision, eye care, or a nutritionally related topic. Pick up the phones, give me a call. Participation is encouraged. I've been hosting Ask the Doctor since April of 1993 on multiple radio stations throughout the South. And uh, I've been practicing since uh, March of 1993 in the Florida area. Um, been blessed to have a lot of a great, a great staff and a great group of patients supporting me over the years. As most of you know, um, we grew to actually 13 locations of uh, Lang Eye Care at one time. Uh, now we have one the Lang Eye Institute in the Villages. Uh, last year in April, I sold all of my locations. And uh, I, I kept the main, uh, the big daddy, the Lang Eye Institute, uh, which is in the villages. And we take care of just about every type of eye problem at the Lang Eye Institute. It was a good day for me. A little less stress, less employees. I can spend more time with the family, uh, spend a little more time racing cars and, and staying in shape, which is nice. Um, so... Uh, if you'd like to see me or any of the great doctors at the Lang Eye Institute, you can learn more at drmichaellang.com or fortify.com or langeyecare.com. Um, you can certainly set up an appointment in the villages to see me for a routine eye exam, Dr. Hunt for cataract surgery, glaucoma surgery, uh, Dr. Michael Tolatino for any type of retinal problem, retinal surgery, Dr. Yadi Exposito is fantastic optometric physician, um, we also have a low vision specialist on staff at the Lang Eye Institute. Also, the Institute has dentistry, podiatry, uh, naturopathic uh, physician upstairs. That's Dr. John Podlosky, hearing, um, all, you know, hearing specialist, Michael Moore. Uh, we've got a lot of uh, great docs all under one roof. All right. Um, phone lines are open. Let's see, 866-977-4820, 866-977-4820. I want to take this opportunity to wish everybody a very Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, a Happy New Year. Uh, this will be the last show before Christmas. I mean, Christmas is, what, day after tomorrow. This is Saturday. So, uh, you know, uh, we have a lot to be thankful for in the Lang family, um, and I'm sure this is a great time for other people. Uh, you know, you have to really count your blessings. You can't take everything for granted like most of us do at one time. Um, so we've been blessed this year. It's been a great year uh, for the Lang Eye Institute, four to five vitamins and my family. Um, all right, we're going to go to the phones. Um, oh, before we take the first caller, wow, Steve's the first caller this morning. He had to get on the phone pretty early to be Bob. You know, uh, I want to thank everybody for coming out to the Christmas extravaganza. Every year we uh, throw a big party and uh, uh, we actually gathered a lot of toys for Toys for Tots for the children out there. So it was a big hit. A lot of people came out, had a lot of food. They saw uh, Doc Voodoo, my race car, and uh, that was a lot of fun. And, and uh, I appreciate the support there. I talked with, geez, hundreds of people. We had over 1,000 people show up to the Christmas. Christmas extravaganza at the Lang Eye Institute. It was a lot of fun. I want to thank Bausch and Lom. I want to thank all the frame vendors, Paleo Simplified, Fortify Vitamins, Dr. Exposito, Dr. John Poser, Michael Moore, the entire Lang Eye Care, Lang Eye Institute staff for coming out and helping. All right, let's go to the phones. Steve and Bradenton, good morning. Good morning, sir. How are you doing? I'm all right. How are you doing? 
All right. Did you do any burnouts in the parking lot last week for the folks? <laughs> I didn't even. I started it for a few people, but it, it was so packed. I mean, there's hardly any place to drive. So, nope, I didn't do that. <laughs> and once you once you start them with open headers, the people just gravitate right towards your car, don't they? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, it's loud. It sounds pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> My question has to do with I had a, a physical and I had a blood test, and the doctor said it was absolutely almost perfect. Um, triglycerides, 54, the uh, cholesterol was good. Everything was good except for one thing, and uh, it was a deficiency in vitamin D. It was 38, and it's supposed to be 100, she said. Yep, yep. You so want she it. told me <laughs> take 5,000 units a day. Now, does that sound right? And my question is, is there any correlation between the deficiency in vitamin D and poor eyesight? Well, you know, there is some evidence that, uh, you know, vitamin D deficiency causes a whole host of problems. And, and yes, you are at more of a risk of having not many eye problems, uveitis, dry eye, even macular degeneration, if you are vitamin D deficient. And, you know, in Florida, we should not be vitamin D deficient because it's got a lot of sunshine here. People that are going to be vitamin D deficient are the ones that are afraid to go out in the sun. They're lathering up with sunscreen. They have very dark skin. The older you get, the more deficient. If you're overweight, which you're not, um, if you're not eating a lot of fish or milk that's vitamin D fortified, um, it, you know, basically, if you indoors a lot, uh, it's going to increase your risk of vitamin D deficiency. If you're vitamin D deficiency, a whole host of things can occur. You can get frequent sicknesses. I'm more often going to get a virus. So a little sunshine is always good when you have the flu. Uh, vitamin D is actually better than vitamin C for a virus. All right. You can be tired, fatigued. A lot of people can get labeled as, as chronic fatigue when all they had uh, was a vitamin D deficiency back pain, bone problems, osteopenia, osteoporosis, things in this nature. Here's a big one now, depression. A lot of people are depressed uh, when they don't get enough sun. So you go out and you get some of the sun that God put up in the sky. Now, it's different for each individual. I usually say a half hour a day, 15 front, 15 back with no sunscreen between 11 and 2. And that usually gives most of us enough sunshine. It does help your mood. It improves your mood. It helps reduce um, depression. Also, people with wounds. I mean, people, especially diabetics that have chronic uh, inability to heal wounds, vitamin D deficiency adds to that. Um, hair loss, a lot of people that are bald vitamin D deficiency. So a whole host of things uh, can benefit from vitamin D. So certainly taking the 5,000 units per your doctor, do not take any vitamin A supplements, but we talk about that a lot. Vitamin A blocks the absorption of vitamin D. Uh, a lot of people have trouble absorbing the vitamin D, you know, through the gastric lining. So that's why the sunshine is very good. Now, after you're out in the sun, do not take a bath or a shower with soap for about six to eight hours because you're going to wash away the oils that are allowing the vitamin D to absorb. So I think the right step in the right direction is the vitamin D supplement, but I think you need to get some sunshine as well, but make sure you wear a good pair of sunglasses and a hat. The uh, the one I found at, at the store was 2,000 units, so should I take like one in the morning and one in the evening or something? Yeah, yeah I think that's fine. You can take them all at the same time since it's a fat-soluble vitamin. Uh, you know, take a little food with it, eat a little food with it, and and then you, your doctor's probably going to re recheck that in about four months. But the sunshine is probably the best way to get vitamin D. I've seen many patients on 5,000 units of vitamin D, and they still don't get those levels up to 80 or 90. And then when they get out in the sun for a half hour a day, uh, they do get those levels up. Oh, okay. Thank you so much, Dr. Merry Christmas to you, and I sure appreciate your show. All right, Steve. You take care, buddy. Bye-bye. Thank you. And Merry Christmas to you as well. All right. Uh, you're listening to Ask the Doctor. I forgot my name there. 866-977-4820. 866-977-4820. Uh, we're getting ready to go to the next call in just a second. I do want to mention, since we had the uh, guest that was Dr. Karen Heck from Astoreal, uh, which is a subsidiary of Fuji Health, uh, she's one of the leading experts on astaxanthin. She was on about three weeks ago with me. And you can actually watch that video and show if you go to YouTube and go to Ocular Health. 
YouTube Ocular Health. Uh, you can subscribe to that channel, and all my videos are up on there, uh, a lot of the race videos as well. But ever since they were guests on this, the Fortify Focus, which has the astaxanthin in it, remember it has lutein, zeaxanthin, isomers, and astaxanthin, has just gone through the roof. I mean, people have been buying it by the case. So we have a big warehouse in Ocala. We had plenty of Fortify Focus. Well, that combined with the Christmas extravaganza that we did, we're all gone. It's out. So we're going to have a, it's a back order for a short period of time. Fortify Focus will be in the first week of January. So that's just right around the corner. If you got to have it, go to Amazon. Amazon has plenty of Fortify Focus under Fortify um, on Amazon or anybody that has it on Amazon. So if you got an Amazon account, sometimes you get it same day. So Fortify Focus, either go to fortify.com um, or go to uh, Amazon. If you get on fortify.com, it is on back order for uh, until the first week of January. If you go to Amazon, you might get on the same day. All right, let's go back to the phones. Uh -huh. Bob, good morning. Good morning, Dr. Lang. What's Delight up? Delight talking to you. <laughs> Yeah, this is late for you to get in on the call. Let's see. It's about 9.15 already. Well, I'm sitting here waiting. I always <laughs> enjoy listening to Steve. He's He's got always relevant things to ask, and that's what this show is all about, in my opinion. You got it. Uh, Dr. Lang, um, well, first off, Merry Christmas to you and Tammy and Thank you. your family. And... Um, uh, a new year, do you expect to be on next Saturday also, or are you going to take a week? No, no oh. I'll be on live for the new year. Uh, then we're going to take, right. have a little family reunion up in Orange Beach uh, the next week. So I'll be live two weeks in a row. Okay. And uh, you got tires for your machine, I understand? The car is all ready. It's ready for the fall festival in uh, Sebring, the middle of January. <laughs> After which you're going to park it and wait to sell it for a premium. Well, I'm, I'm in the process of trying to get a different one. I'm in the process of trying to get a different race car right now. We'll see if it, if it happens. If that car is not available, I will be re racing the Voodoo 2, Doc Voodoo. <laughs> All right. Very good. All right. Um, I, my mailbox is constantly overflowing with all sorts of different literature. This one uh, that came in really got my attention after listening two weeks ago to your Asazanthin and Zeaxanthin um, uh, show. This one had to do with sleep deprivation. And, and it was dealing with blue light. Now, mm -hmm. this is right in your wheelhouse, Dr. Lang, with, you know, your blue light defense and the Asazanthin and Zeaxanthin in the focus. Right. They're saying that it, it really is a significant impact on one's sleep to take a product like Focus to help offset the blue light effect and therefore sleep deprivation. Yep, absolutely. So um, that you bring up a valid point. I mean, sleep deprivation is huge in this country, all right? Because it's not like the olden days when uh, it gets dark, you go to sleep. Now we have all this man-made synthetic light in the house. You know, we got the computer, the iPad, the iPhone, the LED TV, the LED lighting, the fluorescent lighting. And so at nighttime, when we're supposed to slow down and the brain's supposed to start releasing melatonin, it's not because the brain still thinks you're outside in the sun. Therefore, the melatonin levels aren't going up. Sleep deprivation is the root cause of horrendous problems, okay? Number one, obesity, all right? Elevated cortisol that leads to something called adrenal fatigue, heart disease, diabetes, cancer. I mean, all is related to sleep deprivation. And you think about it, heart palpitations. A lot of you get these heart palpitations, and we talk about this all the time. Some heart palpitations can be related to sleep deprivation and also dehydration and also vitamin D deficiency. And we talk about this all the time. There's three things, you know, getting the sunshine for the vitamin D, drinking spring water during the day and getting plenty of sleep. Those are three key factors in anti-aging that benefit the eye and the entire body so we can now block or help filter the blue light a you can wear blue filtering lenses like blue light defense or blue light shield i developed both of those you can learn more at bluelightdefense.com you can get those through lang eye institute many doctors throughout the world are prescribing them now 
um, or b and B, taking a supplement that has lutein and zeaxanthin isomers and even the astaxanthin uh, because this helps impre improve macula pigment density. Not only will it help help macula degeneration patients, help prevent or help to slow down the possibility of accelerated macula degeneration, but helps to prevent all this harmful blue light from damaging the retina. So it's a combination of uh, you know blocking the blue light with blue light defense lenses, and then taking taking something like Fortify Focus, or just you know uh, you know when it, the evening comes, don't get on the computer and the television. Um, ultimately, you can pull the electric panel, uh, pull the thing down outside the house. Um, your freezer will be okay for you know twelve hours, <laughs> but uh, um, that is a valid point. Sleep deprivation is one of the reasons we have so much disease in this country. My, that, that was more than what I expected, but I knew that that was going to be your wheelhouse. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, I have just, that just, I should continue to talk there. You know, let's, let's cycle back to my wife here. Mm -hmm. You know, she, um, as, as it's gone on here, She's continuing to lose mobility in her legs. And she tells me every morning she's up every hour. Uh -huh. She gets up every hour. And, you know, and I'm wondering if... Now, you, you gave me, I asked for, and you gave me blue light defense lenses. Right. Last time I had a prescription filled. And after listening to your program two weeks ago, I upped my uh, focus... Uh, regiment from one to two right right and um i'm i'm wondering should i should i uh encourage my wife i don't think she's already taken one focus maybe not i i've kind of lost track of that right. but maybe i should encourage her to take that too well absolutely i mean it'd be good for her to be wearing some kind of blue filtering lens uh you know at least from five o'clock on until bedtime i would take one to two focuses a day uh, have your wife try reading a book with candlelight in a hot tub with epsom salt put some epsom salt in the tub a couple of cups take a 30 minute hot bath read by candlelight not by traditional lighting and that's going to help you relax the magnesium and the epsom salt helps you relax the heat will help you relax reading the book will help you get tired as long as it's candlelight and it's not from a computer so uh try all that and see how she does excellent all right, all right well we're not <laughs> thanks dr lang talk to you next week bud woman Merry Christmas. All right, 1-866-977-4820, 1-866-977-4820. Got a few more people on hold. We're getting ready to go to the next call. I also want to mention, in the villages, right on 441, uh, there's a place called the Green Apple in the villages, uh, the Green Apple Health Foods, Inc. They now carry our Paleo Simplified Bars and the Paleo Crunch. If you want a bar that's gluten-free, organic, uh, non-GMO, high energy bar, low glycemic index fruits. They all have goji berries and spirulina, a lot of other good stuff. Uh, the Paleo Simplified bars are amazing. You can certainly get it on Amazon, paleosimplified.com, fortify.com, the Lang Eye Institute. But now the Green Apple, uh, many other stores throughout the country are carrying it. The Green Apple Health Foods on 441, that's 724 U.S. Highway 441, Lady Lake uh, carries that. And the uh, uh, Paleo Simplified Honey Nut, fruit crunch all right back to the phones uh let's see we got a few people on hold i think vince is next and then tony vince and tama thanks for holding good morning hey merry christmas dr lang to you, you and your family thank you very much um i got a pretty serious uh, situation with somebody who i'm real near and dear to they've been diagnosed with wet macular degeneration, some bleeding in one of the blood vessels of the left eye. Right. And the um, supposedly the prognosis to help this condition, they're, they're going to have her take injections right. to her eye mm -hmm. every like week. And I was wondering, is there any, is there alternative care for that? Or is that the only thing is the, uh, the, the injections and what are they actually injecting? Cause she didn't get any details. 
Right. I'm just hearing this secondhand. Yep. As Bob would say, this is in my wheelhouse for sure. So, you know, we have uh, uh, Michael Tolatino, Dr. Tolatino on staff at the Lang Eye Institute, and he's the guy that actually uh, invented the Avastin injection. All right. And uh, he's done a ton of it. So with wet macular degeneration, I definitely recommend two Fortify Focus or one Fortify Focus and one something called MacuHealth. So that's one of each or two Fortify Focus. I see many patients with wet macular degeneration improve, uh, actually improve when we do this regimen of supplements. It does not replace an injection. I repeat, it does not replace an injection. I've seen patients, though, that have wet macular degeneration that will not have injections, okay? It's still home of the free, and you can't be forced to have a shot in the eye. And so they want, so what do you do with them? You can only you know, do the next best thing, and that's proper nutrition. We adjust their diet. So adjusting her diet or his diet is very important. If you go to our Fortify website, fortify.com, go to the right-hand side of the column, and you can see diet for macular degeneration. There's an article I wrote, Nutritional Intervention and Lifestyle Modifications for Macular Degeneration. I would recommend getting that to this patient. It tells you exactly what to eat, what not to eat. I would highly recommend two, four to five focus, all right? And the injection every day. Every day, two, right. And two, if she, four to five focus. and I would take it with milk. Milk can help it absorb. This is one time I recommend, you know, milk from cow or goat's milk. Goat's milk is great or A2 cow's milk. It's got to be either A2 cow's milk or goat's milk because that has the right type of uh, A2 beta casein protein. And we don't know if it's the casein, the whey, or the fat in milk, but we do know that it can help it absorb these carotenoids. So that's going to be a step in the right direction. Not a miracle pill, but I have seen miracles happen. Now, what the drug is they're injecting, believe it or not, is a colorectal cancer drug. All right. And there's a variety of them. There's a there's a Vastin, which is very inexpensive. Then there's Ilea and Lucentis and some other ones that are very expensive. She's taking one that's four thousand dollars a shot. Yeah. Yeah. She's taking the expensive ones. So um, they all work very similar, except the more expensive ones. You tend not to have as many injections, maybe one or two less injections a year. She's not going to be having it every week, but probably every four to six weeks in the beginning, she'll have an injection. These injections work quite well. I mean, finally, we have something for the wet form of macular degeneration that is beneficial. So it has been preserving many of my patients' vision. We've been doing injections at the Lang Eye Institute for probably eight, eight years now, maybe even longer than that. Uh, wow. So okay. it, it, I never heard of that before. Yep. And, and don't injection. be afraid of it because these injections now, we put a topical anesthetic in the eye first to numb the eye. Then we do a small subconjunctival injection of, of lidocaine, an anesthetic that doesn't hurt at all because you don't feel it because of the first topical drop. And then that kind of warms up the eye for the injection in the eye. Then they inject the Avast or the anti-VEGF medication in the eye, and it's basically painless. Now, some doctors will not put that second injection, that first injection in to numb the eye. And so then it can be a little bit painful, and it's up to each doctor whether or not they do that, okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to see if she wants to do a second opinion. If she does, I'll bring her to you, uh, doctor. What's his name? Uh, yeah. Michael Tolatino. He's there on Mondays. Actually, he'll be start be there on Fridays now at the Lang Eye Institute. Tolatino, Tolatino okay. yes. He's excellent. All right. And he is big into the whole nutritional component. As a matter of fact, his percentage of injections is much less than the natural national average due to the nutritional profile and the nutritional implementation that he's using for macular degeneration patients. Right. And uh, But the other drugs, there's others that are, are less expensive, the injections, but oh. you'd have to take a few more of them. Well, yeah, maybe one or two more a year. Avastin's about 150 bucks versus, you know, uh, you know, twenty five, three, four thousand dollars. So it's much che it's cheaper, and the studies indicate it's just almost just as effective. Wow. 
All right. I guess, well, yeah, I guess <laughs> she's got real good insurance. That's the first thing they said to her. You got insurance. The insurance she'll be able to pay for this. Right. And so if the insurance so, is paying for it and she's not paying the 4000 I would do whatever the doctor's recommending. But the whole nutritional component, remember, most doctors are don't know a lot about nutrition, and they're going to recommend these over-the-counter a Red's two formulas that have 80 milligrams of zinc oxide that uh, do from DNA studies. We know that a huge percentage of patients that's actually going to make them worse. So uh, I would not recommend over the counter yeah, th eye vitamins. They didn't mention anything about nutrition because hmm. when you, you eat dark chocolate, you, you know, with the blood vessel, are you allowed to do that? You're on blood pressure medicine. Is that going to have any effect on the bleeding? No, no. You know, uh, but yeah. nothing. Yeah, a little a little dark chocolate's actually good. Dark the darker the better. Yeah. So we talk about okay. that in that article. Go to fortify.com and read that article and that'll enlighten you significantly. Well, thank you very very much. And let me ask you one last thing about that. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean she's diabetic, does it? That nope. she had that blood vessel problem in that one eye? No, not at all. It's totally separate. Now, diabetics are more prone to have leaky microaneurysms and blood vessel leaks in the eye that can cause macular edema and swelling, but it's different than macular degeneration. Okay. All right, Dr. Lang, I appreciate this. And I will tell her about the pills and the fortify.com. I'll get her on that website. And I will also uh, explain to her if she wants a second opinion about right. Dr. Tolentino. Fantastic. All right. And uh, I appreciate you. I really do. Thank you very, very much. It makes me feel a little better because she is very near and dear to me. Yep. You hang in there and uh, it sounds like she's in good hands going the right direction. The key is early detection. So I'm glad she's seeing a retina specialist right now. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Take care. Bye-bye. And Merry Christmas. Bye-bye. Thank you. And Merry Christmas to everybody out there. All right. Let's go back to the phones. I think it's probably Tony now. Tony in Clearwater, thanks for holding. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Uh, yes, I have a little one um, friend that uh, just have a surgery. Uh, he, the doctor says there's a buckle in the uh, retina, and they need to do a bill first. If it doesn't work, they do the seal and the bill. I don't fully understand what that means. I want to know what's the impact, what's the potential. And they say that the little thing, buckle or something is there, is more than because that happened last week. Uh, he, uh, he feel like a little bit yellowish in the eye and then found uh, to the retina scan doesn't find much but he recommend to go to the, the specialist so specialists do the more looking and found that there's a little bajo says they say there's more than probably more than uh, it's not really aggressive but more than a while so I just uh, want to help you uh, Expert opinion. So, Tony, let me ask you this. Um, so, this person had a retinal detachment if they have a buckle in their eye, a scleral buckle. A little. Yeah, that's what they have, a little uh, detachment. Right. And so, the, the surgeon goes in and puts this buckle in the retina that allows the, the retina to be reattached, and it works very well. It's very effective at keeping that retina back uh, down instead of torn or detached. So, it's a good procedure. Okay. I've had patients that have had scleral buckles done in 1993, and they were young then, and some of them are still relatively young now, and that was, what, 25 years ago, and that buckle is held just fine. So um, it, that's just something you're going to want to see that retinal specialist uh, probably, you know, for the first two to three years, you know, per their instructions. And then after that, you know, your primary eye care provider, whether it's your optometrist or ophthalmologist, can continue to monitor. And for that individual, we got to be, be a little bit concerned. Why did the patient have the retinal detachment? So retinal detachments can be idiopathic, no known etiology. It just happens spontaneously, but it can be related to the shape of the eye. If you're really nearsighted, the axial length of the eye is very long and it creates uh, tension on the retina. If you're very athletic, all right? Um, if you're, you know, involved in things like motocross or football, even basketball, you get elbowed in the eye. You go to the bar and get in a barroom brawl, a car accident, anything like that. So trauma, athletics, all this can add to retinal detachments. If you're diabetic, 
it increases your risk of having retinal problems as well. So it's neosided, so it's like a close to seven hundred degrees. Ah, yes. So that's the reason. Very nearsighted. Also, he doing a lot of uh, computer work and reading. I mean, the I, a phone. Uh huh. So, that, so well, what could be like a? I want also want to know what kind of restriction like you can do sport or something. Can I mean what can and cannot do? Or yeah. I would recommend not any contact sports, no kickboxing, no boxing, no wrestling. Um, I mean, certainly, uh, you know, non-contact sports. That's basically what I would recommend. You can still, you know, play a little football. I, I probably wouldn't recommend, you know, tackle football, touch football, you know, basketball. You can run, you know, bicycle. You can work out at the gym. Probably lighter weight, more repetitions. I wouldn't recommend, you know, becoming a power lifter and, you know, you know, trying to squat or deadlift a thousand pounds. So, um, you know, just things within moderation. I would definitely adjust his diet a little bit. Make sure he's eating a lot of organically grown um, spinach, kale, orange, red, and yellow bell peppers, goji berries, blueberries, wild Alaskan salmon. The pill I talk about all the time, Fortify Focus, probably a good idea to take one a day just to make sure the retina is getting these carotenoids, lutein, zeaxanthin, and astaxanthin that you can also get in your diet via what we just talked about, the spinach, the kale, the bell peppers, the goji berries, and the wild salmon. And, uh, and then certainly wearing protective eyewear. That's very important when you're engaged in a sport wear protective eyewear. You can buy these, you know, through your local optical, you know, impact resistant glasses. Uh, very important. Okay. So you say uh, focus. How many you should take? I would just take one a day uh, as prevention, one a day. And remember, Fortify Focus is on back order for the first week in January, but you can buy it on Amazon. Amazon's loaded up with it right now. Uh, so either go to Amazon Fortify Focus or uh, you can order it from fortify.com. It will just be on back order till the first week of January. Okay. All right? Okay. That sounds great. Thank you. All right, Tony. Keep me posted. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. You're listening to Ask the Doctor, 866-977-4820. We're getting ready to take the next call in just one second. I do want to mention a company that uh, I really do promote now because I believe in the technology. It's called Hemocode, H-E-M-O-C-O-D-E. -E. You can go to their website to learn about it, hemocode.com. This is a at-home blood sensitivity test it actually you prick your finger you bleed on a little piece of paper you send it in to them uh, they analyze it and their clinical nutritionist sends you uh, a big detailed report of what to eat what not to eat what foods you have antibodies to that are causing you to have sensitivities that can be one reason that you're not sleeping well that you're not losing weight that you have anxiety that you're urinating at night so there's a lot of reasons for that some of the foods that you're eating that you think are good for you may not be good for you the only way to know is to test for food sensitivities there's a lot of companies out there that are doing this very expensive if you go through your physician uh, i mean i see a lot of physicians charging fifteen hundred dollars for this this is $4.99, and you use my last name, Lang, L-A-N-G-E, in the promo code. You get $100 off. It's $3.99, and then you can know how to customize your diet. Because if you're on a paleo diet, a FODMAP-free diet, whatever kind of diet is, the Lang eye diet, the Lang diet, uh, there might be foods in there that you still have food sensitivities to. So the only way to know is to test. Hemocode.com, use my last name, Lang, get $100 off. All right, let's go back to the phones. Uh, da, da, da. Raymond in St. Pete Beach. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I'm taking the Fortified Macular Defense, three mm -hmm. tablets, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm a little confused. Vitamin D, it says 56.25 mcg. Uh -huh. what, 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 what does that mean? <laughs> you know, that's one of those silly regulations. That's the law, once again, impinging on what we can do. So we've always been adapted to the IUs, you know, 25, 2,800 units of vitamin D3. You understand that, okay? And so there's a new law, and it takes effect in 2018, which is right around the corner, where all vitamin manufacturers are going to have to change units 
to micrograms. And so everybody that's been thinking along the units, you know, you got to take 5,000 units of vitamin D a day. Well, when you adjust it to micrograms, it sounds like there's nothing in it. So that is equivalent to the, what, I think 2,700 units of vitamin D3. It's still the same amount, all right? It's just converted to micrograms, and that's the new law for our supplements. It's kind of crazy. Doctors are going to have to adapt to that starting this, this year, coming up in January. Okay, so 56.25 is 2,600? Right, it's the same okay. amount that was in it always. It's the okay. 26, 2700 units of vitamin D3. Yep. I, th I thought it was mislabeled. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people have come to me, and I, I, I pushed back. I said, I don't want to do this. When the, you know, the, uh, my label company said, nope, you got to do this, Dr. Lang. I said, no, people aren't going to think they're getting anything in it. And so now I'm glad you brought that up because now we can educate the public. I forgot to mention that. Okay, that, that's, uh, that's the only question I had. All right. Take Thank care, you. Raymond. Bye-bye. Yep, new laws being implemented. Trump did not have anything to do with that. That was our prior administrator. <laughs> All right, 1-866-977-4821. 1 877 We're getting ready to go to the next call in just a second. I'm holding up. If you're watching me on Facebook right now, you can go to News Talk 820 or News Talk Florida. Yeah, News Talk Florida on Facebook, and I'm holding something up. It says the ultimate post-recovery drink. It's an article I wrote. If you type in the ultimate post-recovery drink, I come up number one on Google uh, in the world. So this talks about, believe it or not, and we talked about this before, using my Fortify Super Protein, two cups of A2 chocolate milk or goat's milk and put some chocolate syrup in it, and watermelon. You combine all three, blend it for like five seconds, drink it down within one minute to 30 minutes after working out or a long bike ride, playing golf. Uh, weightlifters and bodybuilders and powerlifters are doing this all over the world now, and it has an anabolic effect. It works quite well. Um, we can send you this, or you can go to online, just the ultimate post-recovery drink. It talks about the science behind why it works, or you can call four to five vitamins, and we'll send it to you or email it to you. Or you can always uh, email me at idude92 at icloud.com. Don't send me AOL mail anymore. Something's wrong with AOL. Um, so E-Y-E-D-U-D-E 92 at icloud.com. All right, let's go back to the phones. Hmm. I think it's William in Gainesville. Good morning. Yes, good morning. Um, in the last six months, I've had some pretty bad heart issues, including uh, diagnosis of tachycardia. Right. Um, I have noticed last week or so that it, my eyesight, I seem to have a fog that I'm looking through, and it stays that way for a while, for about six or seven hours. Hmm. And then it kind of fades away. I was just wondering, would that be something uh, uh, somebody with a compromised heart would run into well, or a high blood pressure? I mean, certainly, if your blood pressure is elevated, it's going to have to be going up quite high, then it can compromise eye health. It can cause swelling and edema of the optic nerve. It can cause bleeding in the retina. I mean, it can cause a whole host of problems. And the, uh, the heart also is directly related to eye health because, remember, the heart is the master pump that is pumping blood flow to the eye. So, yes, these things can. However, if your vision's that blurry and it takes six hours to get better, I mean, that's a little bit strange. You also probably need to be checking your blood sugar. Uh, you probably yes, have. well, uh, my blood sugar is normal. I mean, they're having times I've been 130 plus, but yeah. normally I'm riding around 90 to 110. All right, so if your blood sugar is going up to 130, then it could be even going higher than that. So if your blood sugar fluctuates a little bit, that is more likely the cause of your vision changing than high blood pressure, okay? Because if your blood pressure is really high and it close, you know, causes some damage in the eye, it's not going to get better after six hours. But you have a diurnal fluctuation in blood sugar. Now, if your blood sugar goes up, all right, now here's a little test you can do. If your blood sugar goes up, then you're going to get more nearsighted. Things are going to be very blurry in the distance, but your vision is going to get better up close. So next time you have very blurry distance vision, look in that eye and see if it's better up close. If it's better well, up close. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm glad you mentioned that because I have noticed that I don't need my reading glasses. Bingo. 
It's probably yeah. blood sugar. Now, we can easily determine that. I mean, get back into your local optometrist or ophthalmologist, and they can determine if they have a, a record on you, your last eye exam and this eye exam. Number one, they got to look in your retina to make sure there's nothing bad going on, all right? We got to make sure you don't have a cataract, macular degeneration, a bleed in the retina, swollen optic nerve. Uh, you're probably okay there, but then they can analyze your last refractive error, you know, looking at the prescription and then and see what it is this time. If you're more nearsighted, okay, and you don't have a cataract causing it, then it's your it's blood sugar. Blood Just, sugar. Yeah, it sounds okay. like it could be blood sugar to me, okay? Well, thanks very much. I mean, you, you hit right on the nose when you said, you know, up close vision seems right? to be getting better. Yep. And it has, to be honest with you. And so, weird. especially, William, during the holiday season, you got to be very careful because it sounds like you could be pre-diabetic. So you got to be staying away from the pumpkin pie, the pecan pie, the dressing, the mashed potatoes. You know, hoard up, hoard up on the turkey and uh, and the greens, you, you know, and, and that. But cut back on the other stuff. So I should go ahead and get a test it and start testing myself oh yeah that's the and, simplest thing just go to the local drugstore buy a you know a blood sugar test kit and check your you know your blood sugar about five times during the day and start a graph do that for five days and your, okay. doc, your doctor will love you if you come in with that graph and they can see where the blood sugar is bouncing around and i bet sure. you let me know let me know in the next uh, talk show if, if i'm right, yeah, or right. I, I, I will next week i'm gonna get something started today all right william take care but you hit it on the head. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right. That's what this show is about, trying to help people. Now, remember, this show never replaces a medical evaluation or an eye evaluation. So um, this is for educational purposes only. All right. 1-866-977-4820. one 877 Also, the Lang Eye Institute, we do a lot of cataract surgery. If you're in the villages or within the, you know, driving range, uh, you want to see a great cataract surgeon, you want to get great results, certainly come to the Lang Eye Institute. Uh, we'll take good care of you. Let's go back to the phones. All right. I think it might be Tony in Ocala. Good morning. Yes, Dr. Lang. Um, I'm currently on the fortified uh, vitamin uh, regimen that has some, uh, magnesium, the calcium, the D3, uh, vitamin C, and I think boron. Uh -huh. What I was wanting to find out is uh, I went to get me some osteo biplex, right. and I was reading the uh, some of the uh, ingredients, and it says it has 100% of my magnesium required. Mm -hmm. uh, right. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I'm. I'm still here. You're gonna keep going. Um, we had some bleed through there on the radio there just then. <laughs> Huh. Hello, Tony? Yes. Uh, I think they have uh, two of us on at the same time because I'm hearing someone else talk when I'm trying to talk. Yeah, I, I hear that in my in my earphone as well. I hear somebody else too. Oh. All right, the technicians are working on that right now. All right, but keep talking. Okay. Uh, so they, uh, I'll see a biplex has 100% of the magnesium also, and uh, I'm afraid to take that, so I was wondering if Fortified has a – uh, glucose and conjoint, and I can take with the uh, vitamin supplements I'm currently taking from Fortified. Um, yeah, you, your osteobioflex, you should be fine with any Fortify product because if you're taking like Fortify Complete or <clears throat> Fortify Complete once daily or even the Macula Defense, the magnesium in it is relatively low, all right? And even the calcium is relatively low. Um, I'm not using that to get uh, the amount that you really need. I'm trying to think of what's in osteobioflex. Um, that's for joint comfort, um, at, if I recall. Um, hmm. Do you know exactly yeah, what's, the, what's in it? Uh, n not all the ingredients. I just uh, know it has 100% I mean, I, I know, I know of the has, magnesium. Yeah, I think it's got but, glucosamine, collagen, and MSM in it. If I, if I'm, I, I th you're going to be fine. You can take the Fortify and that. Now, let me ask you this. Are you – do you have osteo – arthritis uh yes okay um because that's a good product my, if you truly have osteoarthritis that's a good product yeah what well, is uh my cartilage in my left knee is 
uh, pretty much completely 100% gone. Mm -hmm. I had what they called a tibia osteotomy 30 years ago. And I was told after 20 years, it's 100% failure. So, but it's still going, so go I want, I'm, you know, taking that, su well, I was taking that supplement, and then I stopped taking it for a while. And when I went to take it again because of the fortified vitamin, uh, I thought it said it had 100% of my magnesium and 100% of my calcium. Yeah, not in the, uh, and it depends. Now, are you taking Douglas Laboratories OsteoGuard yes. plus Iprofavone, that one? Okay. I'm taking the one, uh, Douglas, that has the magnesium, the calcium, the D3, the right. C, the boron. Right. right. Okay. Yeah. That's the uh, yeah. That's osteoguard plus epiprofovone. That's still compatible with osteobioflex because the whole idea behind the osteobioflex is the glucosamine and the collagen uh, and the MSM. Yeah, those two are totally compatible. They're working differently. All right. The osteoguard is helping your bones. Um, and then the uh, osteobioflex is helping to reduce the pain and the joints that uh, the problems that you have. So yeah, those two will not harm you at all to use together. Okay, I was just worried about too much magnesium. Nope, nope, you're not going to get too much magnesium. The first time you know you have too much magnesium, you'll know because you have diarrhea, okay? Okay. Well, All right. I appreciate it, and uh, you have a good day, and Merry Christmas. Thank you, Tony. You take care. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, we got people on hold. Let's go to Mark and Lutz. Good morning, Mark. Good morning. How are you? Good. What can I do for you? Yeah, I was listening to uh, one of your callers there about eye vision. You were uh, explaining to him that there might be a blood sugar variation and, you know, right. ups and downs, this, that, and other thing. But something I noticed very recently, within the last couple of years, um, I went to my uh, contact lens prescription expired. Mm -hmm. So I had to get a new prescription. And uh, uh, after the uh, doctor gave me the prescription. I said, well, what power reading glasses should I wear? Mm -hmm. And, and she was like, why would you need reading glasses? I said, cause I can't see anything um, up close. Right. You know? And she took another look in my eye and says, you have cataracts. Right. <clears throat> and I was on at the time, I guess I was 45. Uh huh. Uh huh. And, uh, which is kind of young for that. Sure. Yeah. Definitely. And then I went to St. Luke's for surgery. Right. And they said, man, we, we, we treat people for cataracts that are in their twenties. Right. Days. Right. Yeah. You know? And, uh, the thing is, if, if you get a prescription, uh, from an ophthalmologist or whatever, and you still can't see, right. You really need to check to see if you have cataracts because, it's it's more prominent than many people think. Absolutely, yeah, and especially yeah. here in Florida. Depending on where you grow up, a lot of people grew up on the beach, all right, uh, and they yeah. got a lot of sun, and so you're going to get mm -hmm. a cataract at a much younger age. Oh, that age. was the uh, first question uh, uh -huh. Dr. Gills asked me, because do you wear sunglasses often? Uh -huh. I said, only when, uh, you know, when the sun's bothering me, because, man, you, you know, people down here in Florida don't understand that that is a uh, – um, a critical factor to cataracts developing in your eye. Right. And, right. It's, a, and it's a fairly simple procedure. And I had them in both eyes. Mm -hmm. And um, so I had to go one day to get one done and then um, back again to get the other one done. And I haven't wore contact lenses or used reading glasses since. Yeah. It's so okay. if, if you're using reading glasses, my point is you probably want to get recheck to see if you have cataracts, especially if you live in Florida, because the sun, it, it just, uh, it breaks you down, you know, that it as, does. as far as your that eyes it, go. That it does. Now, let me tell you this, Mark, and I'm sure uh, Jimmy Gills and St. Luke's, that's a great group of people over there, a great group, a, a oh, great yeah. team. I'm sure they've told you this, but now, since you have the human crystalline lens that has been removed, you don't have a cataract that abs is absorbing the harmful blue light or the UV light anymore, so it's more important than any time in your life to wear a good pair of sunglasses when you're outdoors. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, I do good. it all the time, hey. you know, and I always have. You know, but it's just something, you know, you can't wear them all the time. Sure. You know what I'm saying? 
And, uh, but over years and years and whatever, you get exposed to the sunlight. You know, if, if you go to an ophthalmologist and they prescribe you glasses or, uh, contact lenses and you still can't see right, yep. you probably want to get looked at for cataracts. Absolutely. I appreciate the call, Mark, and bringing that up. Right on. All right. Take care, man. All right. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too. Yeah, Mark brings up a valid point. A lot of people get cataracts at many ages. So uh, that's something you can't and doctors can't overlook. Uh, but just because you're 20 years old doesn't mean you don't have a cataract. And if you grew up out in the sun a lot, if you're on steroids, okay, steroids for whatever, bodybuilders using anabolic steroids, power lifters, professional athletes using anabolic steroids, or corticosteroids because you've had arthritis or lupus or you know something like that, then certainly that increases your risk of a type of cataract called a posterior subcapsular cataract. And cataract surgery now is five to 10 minute procedure, topical anesthetic, just drops to numb the eye only. Uh, and we do a lot of cataract surgery at the Lang Eye Institute. So if you're interested in that, certainly uh, come on by. And when you have a routine eye exam, your optometrist or ophthalmologist should be always looking for cataracts. All right, we did have a caller on there. I uh, didn't want to go on the air, but wanted to know a little explanation about wrinkled retinas. Uh, this patient must have been diagnosed with a wrinkled retina. So a wrinkled retina has a variety of names. Uh, it can be called epiretinal membrane, macula pucker, or cellophane maculopathy. And it basically means that there is a wrinkle in the retina and it's in the macula zone. It can cause a little distortion in your vision. Now there's an old saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So if indeed you have a wrinkled retina, one of these wrinkled retinas, that does not mean you need surgery because if you're seeing pretty good, there's no reason to fix it. Now, if it's causing massive swelling and edema and your vision is dropped, then a good retinal specialist like Dr. Michael Tolatino at the Lang Eye Institute can do what we call an epiretinal membrane peel. And that's a surgical procedure. They go in and remove the wrinkle and it improves your vision dramatically. My rule of thumb though is usually 2050 vision or worse, look into surgical intervention, 2050 vision or better, Eh, I don't recommend surgery because still 2050 vision is pretty usable vision. Remember, you have to look at each individual and you have to determine the risk benefit factor. And if we can certainly say uh, surgical intervention is, is risky, but the benefits outweigh the risks, boom, we do the surgery. If we can't, then I don't recommend surgery. Um, once again, this is another reason fortify focus or triple carotenoid therapy is important because remember your macula is where these carotenoids, lutein, zeaxanthin, and mesozeaxanthin hang out. And our fortify focus has lutein, zeaxanthin, isomers, which means it has the mesozeaxanthin in it as well. And we've added the astaxanthin. Remember, astaxanthin improves circulation to the choroid, to the retina. So the combination of this is, is an amazing. We are the only, Fortify Focus is the only supplement on the market in the eye industry that has the combination of Astoreal Astaxanthin and Omniactives Ludamax 2020 in a ratio that I've developed in a fish gelatin with an organic olive oil as the delivery system. So uh, once again, it's not a miracle pill, but I got to tell you, it has some significant benefits for anybody at any age. I've, you know, my daughter's been taking it since she's seven years old. She's 11 now. I've got a 30 year old daughter taking it as well. Uh, my other two daughter, my other daughter and my son, who's 22 now, uh, they all take it as well. My 90 year old mother, my 89 year old dad takes it and hundreds of thousands of people throughout the world. Look at it. Look at the research. Fortify Focus. You can Google it. Go to fortify.com. Check it out. It's not a miracle pill for the wrinkled retina. It ain't going to make the wrinkled retina go away, but it could strengthen the macula so maybe you don't have any progression. That's the whole key here. It does improve night vision and it does improve your near vision. I'm 55. I still don't need reading glasses. That's amazing. When I was 50, I did need reading glasses. So uh, it helps ciliary muscle functioning ability. Remember, Fortify Focus is on back order until the uh, first week of January, but you can get it on Amazon. All right.
I do want to thank everybody for tuning in and listening to Ask the Doctor. I know we're getting close to having to get off the show. I do want to wish everybody a very happy, healthy holiday season. You know, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy New Year. I'll be on before the New Year, though, to wish everybody a New Year. Remember uh, that blood test called Hemocode. Check it out. Go to the website. Most people that listen to the show are in tune with their nutrition or they're trying to make some changes and adjustments in the life to be healthier. New Year's resolution, eat better, exercise more, sleep more. Hemacode.com can help you. Remember, use my name, last name, Lang, in the promo code. Get $100 off the blood test. That will show you what foods to eat, what foods not to eat. I'm out of here. Have a great day, and God bless you. Is this the price for having learned how not to cry?